Whitney Houston's tragic death at 48 has saddened the nation. She was an incredible talent. I myself marveled at her voice. And to watch her degeneration in the last 15 years or so uh, with uh, her cohort was very, very uh, saddening as well. But as soon as I heard that she had died Saturday evening, uh, I was working up at the office and I told Aaron Dykes, I said, watch, it's going to be prescription drugs. Now, how did I know that? And, and they've now admitted that, Xanax and others. Because in almost every case, it's prescription drugs that are killing people, not even illegal drugs. And look, cocaine's bad news, opiates are bad news, but if you look at the statistics, they vary year to year in the United States alone. It's well over, on average, 150 plus thousand people that die uh, from over-the-counter and prescription drugs. It is an epidemic, and I looked up the statistics, you can look them up, not one death a year from marijuana, not one death, the federal government, uh, the DEA, they all admit that. So here she is after years of drugs, alcohol, illegal, legal drugs, with a bunch of prescription drugs, no alcohol uh, even in her hotel room, found dead in her bathtub with a bunch of uh, Xanax and other pill bottles, all prescription around her. Look at Rush Limbaugh, who on record uh, some days was taking more than 100 Oxycontin pills. That's synthetic heroin. He had to be put into an artificial coma just to go off of them uh, because the withdrawal would have killed him if he hadn't done it. And Limbaugh, of course, supports mandatory sentencing for people caught with heroin, opium, or cocaine. Third sentence, he wants life in prison on record. But then you've got all these other people pill popping, uh, all these other deadly drugs that kill a lot more people than illegal drugs. So go look up the numbers for yourself. But here it is, Whitney Houston surviving the cocaine, all of it. And then a lot of times when you get off the illegal drugs, the doctors, just like with Michael Jackson, start putting you on all these synthetic opiates. How did they develop heroin? At the end of the Civil War, there were hundreds of thousands of uh, injured uh, veterans of the Civil War on both sides with arms and legs blown off and to get them off of opium addiction that the army had gotten them on they gave them heroin and it sure did cure your uh, your opium ad uh, addiction because heroin is just an opiate that's been souped up uh, to at least ten times its strength so they're drug pushers the big pharma prescription cartel that also owns the big GMO companies they could care less about anybody and they know that their stuff's poison. So I wanted to show you uh, a couple of these uh, articles right here. Uh, here it is, Fox News, the Associated Press uh, is also reporting it. Uh, prescription drugs found in Whitney Houston's hotel room, uh, report says, and then you read in here, it was Xanax, uh, you name it, no alcohol found. Now again, these statistics vary. Some statistics show over 300,000 people dying from drug interactions, and over 100,000 of those uh, from uh, opiates and uh, uh, other synthetic uh, drugs that have similar effects. But here's a natural news article, and it's got links to all the statistics at the bottom. Statistics prove prescription drugs are 16,400 times more deadly than terrorists. You have got a better chance of falling down in the shower than you do of terrorists killing you, or of a bumblebee stinging you, or a honeybee. And you're 16,400 times. That, that's even the Scientific American. Uh, magazine breakdown to die from prescription drug interactions than you are from terrorists. But our whole way of life is being overthrown in this fake drug war, which is really just meant to keep up the price of illegal drugs and the big banks are laundering the money. And then when they catch you using their illegal drugs, they put you in their private prisons, uh, displacing everybody else's jobs and driving down wages. So we need to decriminalize drugs across the board, and we need to expose how deadly prescription drugs uh, are as well, and, and start averting more of these tragedies. In areas of Europe where they've decriminalized drugs, and where they've also put out the uh, information publicly that prescription drugs are so deadly, in some countries, like Portugal, they've seen a reduction in drug use of 50%. On average, it's around 30%. Go look it up for yourself. Decriminalize the drugs. That's what's destroying Mexico, is the black market. Decriminalize them there. And educate people. It's like Elvis. He had a DEA badge. He hung out with, you know, uh, President Nixon and people and was all anti-illegal drug and said, throw people in jail. But he took an entire envelope of injections and pills twice a day. He called an attack. 
and it was all, again, synthetic drugs that blew away street drugs, and he thought that was okay because it wasn't illegal. It's a fraud, and it's the type of stuff that got Elvis killed and Whitney Houston killed. We'll be covering it on the radio today, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time at Infowars.com, and back tomorrow on the radio, 11 a.m. Central. God bless.